Ever walk into a room and forgot why you went in there? Or did you get to work in the morning and don't remember how you got there? You could be affected by Memory Leak. But in Unreal Engine, Memory Leak isn't about your game forgetting, but more about wasting. So if you want to hear about how to optimize your project, stick around. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Taken Grace, and if you're like me and want to become a better game dev, then subscribe to the channel, and let's optimize your minds and your games. Today we're going to be going on a ghost hunt, we're going to be demystifying Unreal Engine's garbage collection, break down what the Destroy Actor node actually does, and learn about how to banish those sneaky memory leaks to the Shadow Realm. This isn't just for C++, this is for every one of us, even if you live entirely inside Blueprints. Let's learn how. Part 1, The Cleanup Crew's Game Plan. Imagine your game world is a giant house party. Everyone's having a great time, but eventually someone has to clean it up. In Unreal Engine, that cleanup crew is the Garbage Collector, or GC for short. It's a system designed automatically to handle memory for special objects called U-Objects. Every actor, component, and object you work with in Blueprint is a U-Object, so this is your cleanup crew as well. The GC's job is to figure out who is still dancing and partying, and who's just taking up space waiting for the ride to pick them up. It does this with a very specific game plan, which you can think of as a two-phase operation. Phase 1, the VIP list. The GC starts with a special group of objects called the Root Set. These are the VIPs of the party. Objects like your player, the game world itself, and all of the levels that are currently loaded. They are never ever allowed to be cleaned up. The GC works its way out from this list marking anyone or anything that the VIPs are directly connected to. All of these objects are now on the untouchable list and get to stay. Phase 2, the final sweep. Once the GC has traced every single connection and built its untouchable list, it's time for the final sweep. It goes through the entire party and kicks out every single object that didn't make the list. Their memory is reclaimed, and the party continues a little bit tidier. And only for the cool people. So the garbage collection cycle happens periodically, and you can control the behavior of the garbage collector in your project settings to influence how often collections occur. But let's learn how we flag objects for cleanup. Part 2, the Destroy Actor Node. So what happens when you hit a Destroy Actor Node on the character or item in your game? Does it immediately vanish into thin air? Well, yeah, out of sight, out of mind, right? No, it's like sending a card to the graveyard in Yu-Gi-Oh, it's technically still in the game. Think of Destroy Actor Node not as a self-destruct command, but as putting your garbage bin on the curb the night before for the garbage truck. When you call Destroy Actor in Blueprint, the actor doesn't instantly get removed. The engine gives it a special pending kill flag. The actor is technically still there, but it's been removed from the list of actors in the level. Its last will and testament and play function is called, and this is your perfect chance to do any final cleanup logic, which I'll give an example for later. The final memory deallocation happens later when the garbage collector does its next big sweep. This creates a serious problem for us. What if you still have a variable in your blueprint that's holding a reference to that actor? The memory still exists, so a simple check for not equal to null will still pass. It's like having a GPS to a house that's been torn down. The address is real, but there's nothing there. If you try to do anything with that variable, your game will pump out an access none error, and this is where your hero comes in, the isValid node. Instead of just checking if the variable is empty, the isValid is the smart check that asks, is this variable pointing to a real object? And if that object is not marked for destruction, it's your safety net. The sneaky villains, memory leaks. Now for the main event, the memory leak, the most common type of leak in Unreal Engine is the dreaded circular reference. Here's a metaphor. Imagine two characters in your game. Let's call them you know, player and robot. Player has an actor object reference variable pointing to robot and robot in a fit of friendship has an actor object reference variable pointing back to the player. Now they're holding hands in a perfect circle. The game's running and suddenly they're no longer needed. The player disconnects and the robot's no longer in the level. The GC's VIP list check starts, but it can't find this pair. The GC concludes that they're unreachable. But then the GC goes to clean them up, and it sees that the player still has a reference to the robot, and the robot still has a reference to the player. Neither can be destroyed because they're still being referenced by the other. They're stuck in an eternal, isolated dance, taking up precious memory space forever. This, my friends, is Memory Leak. There's another sneaky villain for you Blueprint users, the accidental hard reference. We've talked quite a bit about hard references in the last couple videos, and how it loads the entire Blueprint class and all of its dependencies into memory. This is why it's important to keep track of this so that the GC can properly do its job. Otherwise, it eats all the memory like a spinach dip someone brought to the party. So how do we break the dance circle? Well, we need to change one of the relationships. This is where the superhero T soft object parameter or soft reference comes in. A soft reference is like having an address on a piece of paper instead of having the whole house delivered. It's a way to reference an object without forcing it to load all of its contents. To solve our circular reference problem, we could change the robot's reference to the player from an actor object reference, which is a hard reference, to a soft object reference. Now the GC sees that the player has a strong reference to the robot, but the robot's reference to the player is soft, so the chain is broken. 
When the GC runs, it can finally see that the player and the robot are no longer connected to the root set, and they can both be safely cleaned up. This same principle applies to delegates and event dispatchers. When you use add dynamic to bind a function, you can create a strong reference. If you don't manually unbind the event when the object is destroyed, it can hold on to the object, preventing it from being cleaned up, even if it's no longer needed. So it's really important to use that end play to make sure you unbind all of your delegates when it gets destroyed. So understanding the garbage collection is a huge part of being a successful Unreal Engine developer. Whether you're in C++ or Blueprint, the core logic is the same. The key takeaways here, destroy actor is a request, not a command. The actual cleanup is deferred to the garbage collections sweep. Always use is valid to check your variables. It's a reliable safety check. Break those circular references when you have a non-owing relationship. Consider using soft object references and interfaces to avoid creating never ending dances at the party in your memory. If you want to learn about how interfaces should be used to safely transfer data, click on this video here. If you want to learn about hard references, click here. Special thanks to my Realm Royal Coffee members. If you want access to videos early, my library of assets, and support what I do, check out the coffee and check out the tier that works for you. But until then, keep learning till you game over. Peace.